Hi and welcome to Lighthawk. Uh, in this video here we're just talking about the boost and the bullet. Uh, this one here is if your drivetrain locks up or if you've gotten a little rock or a pebble or some debris uh, in the spur gear and the pinion gear. If any little rocks and such penetrate the gear cover and get inside it could cause the drivetrain to lock up. So all of a sudden you're driving along and all of a sudden the vehicle comes to an abrupt halt. Um, don't panic, it's not like a you know, the motor's blown up or something bad's happened. Really what's happened is a little rock or pebble really may have uh, gotten through the uh, multitude of covers and got into the, uh, the spur and pinion gear. So the motor drive gear is just under this cover here and this kind of half moon shape here. That's where the spur gear, which is attached to the drive shaft in the center, which powers uh, all four wheels. Um, if a little uh, pebble or stone or some dirt or debris gets lodged in there, the gears, of course, the, aren't going to mesh right and it's going to cause the vehicle to lock up. If it does lock up, just turn it off, come to a stop. Don't try to force it or go forward, reverse, forward, reverse, because all you're going to do is cause a lot of heat uh, in the motor and in the electronic speed controller and could do some real damage to that. Um, so we're just going to show you how to take these covers off. First off, um, you're just going to need a Phillips screwdriver and uh, there's four screws on the main cover back here uh, that you're going to have to undo. Now we're going to make sure we undo our antenna cap here. We don't want to be pulling uh, when we pull this up. Okay, we don't want to be pulling uh, on the wire and causing the wire to, to break or have additional stress put on. Now these screws are quite long. I'm just going to lay them in front of the vehicle there so you can get an idea at these four screws here, which uh, you don't have to take them all the way out. You can just do that. So now once you have it up like this, okay, if you're wanting to rotate, in my case, I don't have a rock in there, but uh, I'm going to pretend like I do. What you can do is try to turn it either by the wheels or by hand. And if you have a small little exacto knife or a fine tip screwdriver, you could then just pick uh, the rock out. And at this point too, you can do any inspection to the area and make sure uh, it's okay. The other thing is while you're in here, you wanna make sure if there is any rocks in here, you really get them out. So the additional screw that you're gonna to wanna to do if we're actually gonna take the full cover off is the one down here, just uh, to the right side of the motor. And it's not as long of a screw uh, as the other ones. That's going to take this cover off that's here. So this one piece cover, uh, and this is kind of the area, which I was going to show you, along here and along here, where um, they're, the ceiling, they're, they're very, very fine pebbles. They can penetrate through the cover. We just want to make sure this whole compartment here is good. You know, if you take the vehicle, truck or buggy upside, shake it, just make sure you're okay. Um, and then of course, just reverse the steps uh, to put it back together. So once you've actually checked the drivetrain and the, and, the, and the gears and everything are moving freely again to stop the uh, little pebbles from getting back inside, the only area where we really found any issues is this vertical edge here, okay, and the horizontal one along the chassis. Now uh, what we found is if we just take some axle grease or a little bit of grease and just make a little bead on the corner uh, along here, what that will do is the grease will uh, attract uh, any little pebbles or rocks and it will stick to the grease, not allowing it to bypass behind the plastic cover and then locking up your, your uh, drivetrain. We've had some uh, other in testing, we've also tried to uh, silicone just along here and here. The only downside to that is if you do have to actually replace the gear or adjust anything, you're going to have to use a knife to cut through the silicone. You know, uh, definitely don't want to use any type of epoxies or glues to get that cover off. But the grease has worked really well. And uh, of course, this isn't gonna really happen if you're on a sidewalk or in short grass. And that would really only be if you're running in uh, driveways or asphalt where you've got some sand and silt in that that is kind of uh, pooled in an area, maybe a low spot where water is. Um, and that seems to be the only real issue. So if the, if the particles of dirt are big, kind of clumpy, muddy pieces, it's not really going to bypass through that very, very fine little little area. But a little bit of axle grease or, or a thicker grease along there will really uh, prevent that from entering inside uh, and causing the drive chain to lock. Until next time, uh, visit us at lighthawk.ca.